Hey there, golfers and golfettes. Tom Segudo here, PGA member and founder of Segudo Golf, and I'm here to fix one of the most common problems that I see among amateur golfers out there on the range today. It drives me crazy, so I figured I'd make a video solving this problem forever, and this is why you're losing distance, you're losing accuracy, and you're not having any fun. Three really important things we need to have. We want to be accurate, we want to hit it as far as possible, and we'll, it will lead to have us having the most fun, ideally. So, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to show you the problem, and then we're going to fix it, and in this brief video, you're going to be on a totally new golfing level than where you started. Here we are. Problem number one, and this is the biggest problem I've ever seen in the golf swing, is the way people try to hit the golf ball. The problem that they do when hitting the golf ball is they chop at it like this. It's like they hug the club and the arms work down like this motion. And all of your energy gets down into the ground but not into the ball where we want the ball to go as far as possible. So it's like you're just standing there and you're doing this. And you're probably thinking to yourself, yeah, I've been there, I've done that, but I could never get rid of it. Well, just imagine you're high-fiving yourself. I'm standing up straight, high-five. That's the most powerful high-five. It's very direct. If I bend forward in my golf posture and I high-five myself, that's a very direct, powerful motion. When you're chopping, you're essentially doing this trying to high-five yourself sideways. It's very difficult to high-five yourself like this, and it doesn't have any power. In fact, it lacks probably more than 50% of the power that you totally could have. So, looking at the motion even more in depth, if you're one of those people who suffers from this, you'll often see in the downswing, the club unhinges, and the, the wrists are slapping down at the ball, unhinging at the ball, something like this and you see this big flip afterwards. So all of your power gets lost and there's no fun. Here's how we fix it. First thing you've got to recognize is I'm going to create a hitting platform for you where you can do this, direct power. Here's your first drill. You're going to take the club back without using your wrists. So we're only going to back about halfway and going through halfway. Really short pitch chip shots. What you're going to focus on doing, instead of lifting the arms up and chopping down, we need to get into this position. So we're going to take the club, dead wristed, no wrists, taking club more back behind us, around our body. Stand up straight, hold the club out in front of you, put the club here. Okay, that's the motion we're doing and going through to here. So up straight, sideways, sideways. So this would happen if you're a lifter, you'd be doing this, up and down. We want to turn around, around. Get into your posture, do the same thing, around. So the club's back behind me, around. Then you get in here and you hit a golf shot like this. Around, around. Very powerful chip slash pitch shot. Once you get comfortable hitting that, you'll notice that you're you're not going back here and throwing it down on the ground, you're taking it back and going directly into the ball, which is a lot more powerful than chopping at it. You're not chopping if you do this, around and around. Then you can take it a step further, get your six iron out, or whatever club you love to hit the most, and you can take it to the course. Here we go. I'm gonna, I got my around motion, I'm starting my swing like this, continue to turn. It's the most direct route to the ball, most powerful. And give it a nice whack. That's how you kick off your range session. So stop chopping today. So in this simple video, you learn how to stop chopping, how to hit the ball directly for power, and have more fun. If you're looking to receive more content like this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel or follow me and subscribe to my email list in the link below and you'll see more tips and features on a weekly basis. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all on the range.